So today for Coffee Talk, I want to talk about PRP of the eyebrows. Um, PRP, as you know, is something that's been used since 1974 in the medical industry. Um, and uh, we now do it for faces, to rejuvenate faces. And we use Cellular Matrix, which is PRP plus hyaluronic acid. I'm currently using an awful lot of PRP on scalps for hair thinning with great results. It's 70% effective. We had some leftover PRP when I was doing a friend of mine, her PRP on her face before Christmas. Uh, she's had thinning eyebrows and is uh, wanted to try to see if the eyebrow hairs would grow uh, uh, rather than go down the road of going a more permanent route, which would be eyebrow microblading or blade and shade. She's got uh, kind of open pores and oily skin, so I'm trying to get her to hold off for the minute. And the leftover PRP, we injected into her eyebrows twice, and that was four weeks apart. Um, I wasn't sure whether it was going to be a success, but I had seen it on the program, The Doctors, I'll put the link here, uh, well before Christmas. And I thought, well, if we've got leftover PRP, it's very precious, I don't want to waste it. We'd already used it on her face, neck and decolletage, there was a sm and forehead and around the eyes as well. But I just said to her, why don't we just see if your eyebrow hairs will grow? Um, and we did it on both occasions, one in December, one in January. Um, and I was away with her for a weekend recently. So we're talking five months later. And I was looking at her face and thinking, there's something different. Um, so the eyebrow hairs that she already has have thickened up because they had gone very thin. Um, now, I didn't have my microscope with me. But she said to me, I think there's new baby hairs coming. So it's been a success. So she's the lady that I shared on the reels, uh, just tap back, uh, that we started her PRP journey for her face around her eyes. And we also did cellular matrix. So we did her face, her forehead around the eyes, eyebrows, as you know, neck and decolletage. And for this part of her face, I used a cellular matrix. So she had three treatments in one. And she had a treatment in December of 2023, one in, in January of 2024, and one in February of 2024. Um, and Blonnet has uh, rosacea on her face. Um, so I got in touch with the team that I trained with and I said, do you think that it'll actually make a difference? Um, so they had said to us to do a minimum of three treatments, which we did. Um, she's got the glow. I've put her photograph here. She's got the glow and the rosacea is not quite gone. Um, it is definitely improved, but it's not gone. So, but any improvement is good and she's happy.